Welcome. Hi. So, as some may know, I am a huge fan of uh, small little electronic devices, such as this this PS Vita right here. And so, I not I'm not a huge fan of the recent uh, trend of mobile phones just constantly getting bigger and bigger. Like, look at that thing. It it can't even fit in my hand. And this model is from five years ago. It's it's just getting worse and worse. I really don't like how like basically every modern mobile phone is just a black slab of glass and plastic, maybe metal. But yeah, they're just all thin little slabs, little rectangles, and they just have nothing interesting going on design-wise. My main phone, which I'm recording this on, which you saw er earlier, uh, is really tough to use. My hand hurts after using it for so long. And it's also just starting to kind of break down software-wise. I will still be keeping it because it's, it is good for drawing and animating. I made a lot of stuff on this device. It's just not reliable for everyday use. I can't rely on it. <laughs> Sometimes I need to look something up real quick. And then uh, for some reason the mobile data stops working or the touch screen starts registering random presses on the screen. So all of that combined, though I, <laughs> I hate buying things, I, I'm trying to buy less things, I decided uh, it was time for a new phone. But this phone is not like most phones on the market today. It is tiny and it has a really nice design thing going on. You will see. I just pulled out the box and even the box is just tiny. I can't imagine how small the phone will be. Also, yes, today uh, I'm going to be opening a uh, Unihertz Jelly Star. Yeah, let's crack this open. Designed by Unihertz. Is this the... I suppose this is the warranty card. Oh, there's a screen protector here. User guide. And yeah, warranty card. And there it is. There's my little thing. This is the front. This is the front. Let's turn it around. Oh my goodness. Let's get this foil off of you. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, it's so tiny. I absolutely love the form factor. Yeah, there's a silicone case put, put on here. I managed to get the case off. And this is what it looks like without the case. You can take a better look at all the components inside. It's really cool. Uh, I was hoping it would be a more uh, saturated blue. But this is still really, really cool. Here in the lower parts of the box, we've got a uh, charger. Got a charging cable. Oh yes, and a little lan lanyard. Yes, 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 yes. This is awesome. Look at this. <laughs> and uh, I think that's all there is in the box. It already has a screen protector installed. So that one, that one over there is just a spare which is really cool. It's really cool to get 
one pre-installed screen protector at all, but two is even more awesome. Let's go over this thing's physical, physical features. This is the charging port. It's on the side. This is a button that you can supposedly uh, program to do a lot of things. And I am really excited to try that out. This is the power button. We have the audio jack. Here we've got the fingerprint reader and the camera. And the volume buttons on the left side. And at the bottom, we've got uh, speakers. It has an uh, infrared blaster, so you could use this as a universal remote. I'm really excited to try that out. There's the Unihertz logo. I'm setting the date over here and uh, yeah, it's really tiny, but it's usable. Setting up the fingerprint and there we have it. What is student mode? Oh, uh, um, what does that mean? There's a toolbox, compass, flashlight, Zaza, Zaza remote. Uh, 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 uh okay. NFC card, NFC card emulation. Holy shit, that's cool. Let's see. Oh, there they are. Nice. All right, so... Uh I'll keep setting, I'll keep setting this thing up and uh, let's see how I feel after using this for a bit. So I have taken out the Jelly Star for what I'd call a test run, which is I took it with me uh, on a mountain hike and well it was pretty reliable. I had to check my location a couple times and look up some stuff. I found this keyboard that has uh, this virtual keyboard that has only nine keys with like swipe to access the other letters. And it's pretty nice. It makes typing on this a lot easier. I also use uh, speech to text a lot on this. I also have taken a couple of photos on the trip, which you can see now. At the, at the tourist uh, stop, at the top of the mountain, uh, I ordered some some beans, beans and sauce. I grabbed the tray uh, <laughs> wrong, and it all spilled on my hand and the jelly star. <laughs> so it survived that. I was a little worried because some of the sauce got into the speaker. I managed to clean it, uh, I think. I wanted to try out something I saw in a, in a YouTube review of this device, but I apparently don't have the, the same software as the reviewer has, so I didn't have that option that he showed. It's weird, but uh, I found some websites that supposedly do the same thing, <laughs> so I tried those to try and uh, return my speakers to a pristine state. It 
we pretty much survived uh, being enveloped in scolding hot bees. There is one thing that has remained though. The lanyard is made out of this material, right? Pretty thick material thing. Uh, and it has absorbed <laughs> the, the smell of the beans. And I can't get it out. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it still, it still stinks. Uh, another thing about the jelly star is that it's, it's definitely bound to get <laughs> people's attention uh, when you pull this out and use it. I did partly get this phone to, you know, to stand out. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with this first outing of the jelly star. I was worried about the usability of this tiny screen. It is pretty much slightly bigger than my thumb, but somehow uh, it is very much usable. A lot of the apps I use also have like, usually have a scaling setting. So that helps, a, that definitely helps a bit. Regular virtual keyboard is like barely usable on this. I've heard that in landscape mode it's a little easier but I don't like typing in landscape mode. Speech to text is definitely a very useful thing for a device such as this. It being pretty inconvenient to like scroll and browse on uh, makes it very good for limiting screen time which is uh, something that I've been paying more attention to lately. Uh, those are my first impressions of the Unihertz Jelly Star. I am very happy with it so far, I must say. If uh, my view of it changes, I think I'll make another video with any problems I encounter with it in the future. Uh, I hope I don't encounter many, <laughs> but it remains to be seen. Draconic.